hey guys welcome back to our channel budget and savings with b i'm fonda sharon and on today's episode it's 10 best free we love that word money hacks that actually work are you ready guys because i'm ready number one download survey apps guys there are so many ways to make money nowadays we're gonna first start with survey junkie Swag bucks, inbox, inbox, inbox dollars are apps that you can download, take surveys, and they actually pay you real money. Okay, so you don't have to drive for Uber, you don't have to drive for Lyft. Download those surveys, which is Survey Junkie, Swag Bucks, and Inbox Dollars. If you see me looking over that way, it's because I'm reading my notes. I, I don't I don't want to miss nothing for you, okay? Because I love y'all. Y'all my family. Y'all my peeps. Number two, switch to a bank that will actually pay you to switch to them. Like, they will pay you a bonus, but you got to watch out for the bank fees. So, definitely ask questions when you get ready to switch and also read the fine print because you know they be trying to get you. But Chase also has this. U.S. Bank has this. HSBC Bank has this. And First Direct Bank has that. So you can definitely Google those. Make sure that you look and see how much the bonus is, how long you have to be banking with them. Do you need direct deposit, you know, in order to get this? And do you have to have a minimum daily balance or a monthly balance? Okay, those are just some things that I could think of off the top of my head that you definitely should inquire about. Make sure you know who you spoke to and what department and their phone number and extension in case it go down. Okay, okay. Buy gift cards for a relative's birthday. I really like that one because I have found here lately, well, 72 hours ago to be exactly, that you spent, not you, but I spent all this time, you can see I'm upset. I spent all this time, you know, thinking about a meaningful gift for someone, you know, what they like, what they ask for. I spent my hard earned money on it. No, they don't like it. Not at all. Not at all. So now I'm just like, are you kidding me? Or are you kidding me? So it's just frustrating. So I will definitely be doing gift cards for uh, birthday presents. And they will have a small limit. That's another story for another day. Invest your pennies. I definitely can say that I'm doing this. I invest a small number, I think about five to ten dollars on acorns because I don't really know how it works. I haven't taken the time to find out how it works. So I just invest that, you know, dollar amount. Invest something that you won't miss that won't make a difference you know five to twenty dollars nowadays it, it won't make a difference so i just invest it because it's not gonna make a difference okay download cash back apps i love this one because you can definitely rack up especially around back to school anytime you're making some large purchases you know, like back to school, you may have spent thousands, you know, for the kids. Uh, around the holidays, you definitely, I know I got a big check around the holidays because that's when I make uh, a lot of large purchases around the holidays, you know, buying gifts and stuff like that. But um, definitely you can download Ibotta. That's the one I have and I have Rakuten. I think you probably have heard of those, but definitely, um, there's also an app called Drop McKenna Top Dollars Back. So those are six 
different cash back points. And I love those because definitely if you know you're about to make a purchase, just like the holidays are coming up, Black Friday is coming up. And if you know you got to get a big screen TV, because we do, and you're going to pay a lot of money for it from Best Buy or something like that, then you definitely want to download those apps, log into the app first, first, then make your purchase through the app. That way you can be getting some cash back for making the purchase that you was going to purchase anyway. Genius, right? I know. Resell free items. So let's say it's your birthday and you got a gift from Aunt Jackie. It's just, it's just not your thing. You just don't like it. Resell it on Craigslist. Resell it on Marketplace. Resell it on eBay. Resell it on Poshmark. Resell it on Macari. <laughs> resell the gift. Or just resell it on, on one of your social platforms, you know. Just resell it and make sure that you block out Aunt Jackie and her sister because her sister definitely going to tell it. But resell it, okay? Free money. Take advantage of sign-up bonuses. Like if you're signing up for a new apartment and they have a bonus or for a new credit card, they may have a bonus or a checking account may have a bonus. Make sure you sign up for those. Make sure you ask a lot of questions when you sign up like how long do i need to be a member how long do i need to have the checking account how long do i need to uh be in my apartment because sometimes apartments also have referral bonuses so you'll need to see how long your friend needs to live off there in the apartment complex all of those good things okay all right I'm laughing because I don't know if I should really tell y'all this one, but when I did my research, they had this one, so I didn't come up with this. Create new email accounts. <laughs> Create new email accounts for when um for when you sign up for, you know, when you create a new email account, you get that 20% off. Guys, be mindful, just maybe you and your husband in one job. That, that might be excessive. Maybe just two, okay? But that's the way you can uh, get a discount. <laughs> D don't be extreme, okay? Just maybe one or two accounts, okay? One or two emails. Don't be out here like I done seen some people that have nine or ten email accounts and they trying to manage all them accounts. D don't do it, okay? Just, just don't do it. Sign up for credit cards at the end of the year because they have sign up bonuses because they have to meet their end of the year quota. They ain't going to tell you that, but that's just what a little birdie told me. And it just makes sense. It's just like buy a car at the end of the year. They have yearly goals. So in order to meet those yearly goals, they put some really good incentives out there so that we take advantage of those, okay? We take advantage of those. Here is, I saved the best for last, okay? Because if you're still here, let me know down in the comments. You're going to type unclaimed. Let me know if you're true, okay? Find unclaimed money. Did y'all know about that? Because uh, I didn't unclaimed.org and missingmoney.com Now I did some more research to look all the way into that and that is where you go on there, put all your information in for such as your first and last name to see if they got some money with your name on it and then you can also, you know, look up some family members and friends and then tell them, hey, you got unclaimed money but I may have to charge you a little finder's fee because if I hadn't told you, then you wouldn't have known. Those were some really good ones. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, comment, do all that good stuff. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.